Hello my YouTubians and Wolfpack. As you can see, the old haunted room is gone. Because, uh, for the stuff coming in, I need a lot more secure location. So, the old storage room, bedroom, whatever it was, I have closed off that door, as you can see, and I've sealed it. Um, I still got lots of work to do. And, as you see, Shikara, and Astro here, they are protecting the new room. What I've done, and I'm still doing, is I've opened up this part and this room now, the only way in or out is through them. Okay. I've painted the room, I've still got to finish this side of the door. I painted up the room and I brought in some of the objects from the other side. Uh, this is going to be this is going to be the new haunted room. Okay, I'll just give you a, a quick little look of what's here so far. Okay, first one here is the is the whip. Uh, it was used in a very nasty way and everything else. I'm going to do a cinema about each and everything. Uh, in here is gonna have a separate cinema uh, that is the harmonica from the penitentiary uh, here's a new one that nobody's seen uh, well it's not new to me but uh, golf club it come up from uh, Miami and there's a really weird story between that uh, which I will be doing a cinema on uh, letter opener of, of trouble you know uh, bad luck opener um, bad luck knife uh, I've done a cinema but I'm going to be doing uh, another one uh, here are the chains of torment uh, this came up from down south which uh, I have done one cinema but I plan on doing another uh, one up this one here is the strangest uh, as you can see it's a very old uh, Knife, Scottish Celtic knife. Uh, it's made out of wood. The blade is uh, steel, of course, but there's no stamps or markings on it because it is very, very old. Um, some idiot stole it out of a Celtic graveyard. Okay, and he's had uh, plenty of trouble over that. Uh, over here is the Kingsfisher gloves, which, uh, again, I've done a cinema, but I'm going to redo it. And here is some black salt just to keep things kind of in control. Um, also, <coughs> also uh, uh, a lot of uh, my YouTubians have been talking about curses and, and, and uh, feel like they're being hexed and everything. Uh, so these are the type of hexes I use. These are, this is in my haunted room. Okay, the first one. Okay, that is to keep evil and nasty crap um, contained within the four walls or contained within the property here. So when you're making it, it's contained between the four borders, so it cannot get out of the borders. So if there's something really dark, that's how you lock it in, okay? Uh, that there, if you see that uh, daisy, okay, it's basically a daisy, uh, you do draw a circle, and the daisy uh, petals are 12, 2, 4, 6, 10, okay? This will ward off all curses, uh, spells basically, from witches or, or any type of spell, okay? So if someone puts a spell that's, that's nasty, it'll take it off. It won't uh, affect any good spells, but nasty ones, it'll prevent. Okay, that one, that's if you're hexed, okay? You use that uh, in your place to get rid of yourself being hexed, okay? And this last one, okay, that's it, to remove hexes uh, from your family and your circle of friends and everything else. By having that one, it removes any uh, hexes, um, whether you're home or not. If you've got that uh, put down, uh, you'll be hex-free. That's hex for yourself. That's to get rid of curses uh, from witches and things like that, warlocks, whatever. And that keeps evil in. Uh, I've got a bunch more that I'm putting up there. Another four more 
uh, that I'll show you at a later date. So, uh, there you have it. This is the, the new haunted room and, and what's going on so far. I've got to get my colors put up here. Uh, I'm putting my colors here, okay, um, to stop anything from coming. If it does get through here, it's just going to run into uh, Astro and Shikara. So, uh, <laughs> i got to put some on my window and some on that storage closet. <coughs> um, one other thing uh, I was going to mention... Yeah, if you want to put up your colors, you find out what your colors are, and you, you get some materials called broadcloth. And you can do whatever you want with the broadcloth. You can make shirts, pants, whatever. You can use it for curtains. You can use it for whatever. But basically, uh, by having your colors around, it gives you strength uh, to deal with stuff. So, anyway, that's it for now. I uh, hope you enjoyed the little tour. And uh, we shall talk to you very soon. All right. So to my YouTubians and my Wolfpack, love you, blessings, and we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.